is failing to capture the increase in real estate prices uh, to make the uh, city as a whole uh, richer. Instead, it's letting all of the benefits of the high real estate prices go to the banks and the real estate uh, developers uh, instead of to the population here. And so real estate is actually becoming a curse of high prices by pricing Vancouver residents out of their own market and uh, expropriating them and forcing them to live uh, out of town because they can't afford to live in their own city anymore. And when would you say this kind of started? Uh, really 1980. And is there a big in the 1980s? Well, the, yeah, the change in, uh, a change in the political philosophy. Uh, essentially, the banks and the financial sector and the real estate sector took over uh, control of the government and made the tax law and the uh, justice law, even the criminal, criminal part, they decriminalized fraud. And they essentially turned the economy over to the upper 10%. Not a simple solution because the whole economy is a system and you can't uh, tear to one organ in the economy. You have to treat it as an overall system with the major elements of every system are the tax system and the financial system. So you have to deal with them together symbiotically and uh, certainly you want to encourage earned income instead of unearned income, instead of you want tax capital gains, you, want, you don't want to have the economy uh, run by trying to get a free lunch. You want to get an economy to work by producing things and producing more prosperity, not simply increasing the cost of living for everybody uh, to buy housing and for uh, getting by in life. So as you know, the provincial election just a month away, um, what would you recommend for any party well, to come out with a tax system that will make uh, the city as a whole rich so that you don't end up looking like Greece or looking like London and New York, which are so uh, much of the central city is more known that uh, the residential areas are all dark at night and nobody lives there. Uh, you don't want to have that happen to you. You want to look at London, New York, and Greece as object lessons for what goes on. I'm not familiar with uh, uh, the leadership. Uh, nobody's told me of anything that they're going on the right track. Okay, um, so this problem, I mean, I know that the housing crisis isn't just an isolated issue here in Vancouver, but other BC cities, do you see a trend kind of, you know, do you see the system where the issues are growing in a sense, or is it? It's getting worse and worse. And will continue until there's a change in policy. Because what's happening isn't the fact of nature. This is not natural. This is a result of really bad policy. And until the policies are changed, it's going to get worse and worse. Right. And then um, you touched on addiction and how does that relate into the housing crisis? Uh, it's a form of depression, and people are depressed uh, psychologically just as they're in an economic depression. They can't afford uh, to get by and live in the way that they used to live, and nobody wants to see their living standards uh, decline. And when they decline, they get depressed and they take drugs.